Okay, this you've got both ways around, and I can never remember, so we'll try it both ways. I think it's this way. Yeah, that's the way. same length there. And the difference with doing it on this side is that you can see that it's hinged slightly. So this bit is flat, but this is slightly hinged. And that's important because that allows it to be able to move just enough to keep this uh, working and to, to deal with anything like little bumps. So now you've got something which will slide relatively smoothly. Okay, next stage, the tripod. Okay. The tripod legs go into the holes. It may be that you have to adjust the spread slightly so that you can get them into the holes. Okay. That on its own is okay. But to be secure, you want to have these as well. Um, so you'll find a way of doing it, and everybody finds a slightly different way. Um, I'm wrapping it around here and I'm putting it on. Something which will effectively kind of keep it as safe as possible. tight because then it's going to be held down. The last thing you want is for the thing to fly off while you're filming with your camera. So, now you're set up, you can adjust this to fit this. Should we have a camera? Have a camera? Can we borrow your camera for that? Okay. So, <coughs> as usual, there's a plate. You can tighten it up. We've now got Camera on the plate. Now you've got a number of different ways, of course, you can move. You can track that way, side to side. So the camera can move this way and from an object. So you could move for a short distance, you can move somebody walking along. Shot like that. Remember, what happens if you go over the edge, if you go off the end, you're going to have a Big bump, which isn't good. So it's often a good idea to put something over the end, at least on one of the tracks, and that will stop that. Um, the other thing you can do, and this, which is quite effective, is say I mean, if you had to stand at the end of the track, you know, if you want a sort of dramatic shot, you can, and you're able to keep focus during it, you could move quickly into her face. Okay. So you can start with a wider shot, loosen this off slightly, you want to loosen it so that you can pan up, and then you have that comes right in your head. Alternatively, if you sit down, can you sit down there? Just take a turn, just put it just to the side, just that there. You could have a sort of tension giving shot where She's there and you're just slap good this sort of creep. And you're just creeping slowly around her as she's thinking about something. In fact, there's something over here that she's thinking about, which we didn't see for you. But on our way round, we've discovered it. Now, of course, I've been very rough about this, and probably if I'm taking a shot of mailing from this angle, I would almost certainly want to 
reduce the reduce the height slightly. So I might play with these a little bit, which again is going to have an effect on all of this. But that's actually quite it's quite difficult to adjust. You'd have to take these off, go down a bit there. Here. Yeah. We're adjusting the legs. And then you have to re-clip it again. See what I mean? So there's quite a few things to be thought about. I'll take these off. And so we've got some sort of some sort of issue. You then have to balance it again so that you're the right height. So perhaps we're doing this, the reverse of that shot. We keep it in the frame and we then discover that there's an axe murderer behind her. Okay? So she didn't know that, oh, there's some tension filled thing. She's waiting for something to happen. We didn't. And therefore we're revealing within the shot that something is going to happen. It's, the tracks are very useful for if you have a table, for example, here. So you would have a table with lots of objects on it. And you could actually track along and past those objects, even panning up and down. Say, for example, with your tube of blood, you could be going up and down and along, and then all the way to the pen pans, some of these working with some animals, or whatever they're doing. Okay? The tracks are a really useful device, yes? How can you track with a circle? <coughs> uh, we can't. We don't have a circular track. You, need, you actually need a circular track, and we're not equipped to do, to do a circular track. If you want to do a circular track, uh, the, uh, you need, A, you need a, a really smooth floor to do it. Um, the way it's done now is done with a steady cam. So people use what's called a steady cam, and, I, and we don't have one of those, they cost thousand pounds, if not more. It's a twenty thousand pounds. It's basically it's a, it's a it's a it's a rig that goes around your body with an arm that goes off to one side. The camera sits on it and it's counterbalanced and it allows sort of smooth movement as you're walking. So you become the dog. Okay, and you have to be very strong to do it. Really, really fit. There's a guy I used to to, to know who, who used to do it for Premiership football, and he would run along the touchline same speed as the footballers, but he was carrying a 50, uh, well about 20 kilogram rig with a big heavy camera on it at the same time. He was fitter than the footballers. Yeah? Uh, in order to film them as a bit of a sky. So that's, uh, so we can't do that. But you could, for example, you could use uh, a chair with, you know, and then you could wheel someone around.